Hi, Chef Bob here in the Cook with Campbell's Kitchen. Today we're going to be featuring our roasted red pepper chicken. This easy stovetop recipe is one of our most popular and is going to quickly become a family favorite. It also does great as an entertaining dish on weekends. Here's the ingredients you're going to need. Campbell's condensed, low-fat cream of chicken soup, some roasted red peppers, some fresh garlic, some fresh basil, some mozzarella cheese, some apple juice, some ketchup, a little bit of black pepper, and some fresh chicken breasts. So what I've got here is a non-stick pan. I've warmed it up over medium-high heat, and I'm just gonna add my chicken breasts right into the pan. You don't need any oil or any cooking spray. I wanna make sure that I just leave everything as is for a good three minutes on that medium-high heat. Don't move the chicken breasts around. Stay away from the temptation to sort of adjust them and, and play with them. Just let them sit there for those two or three minutes. While they're browning, we can open up our can of soup and get the rest of our ingredients ready for the dish. I'm gonna take my roasted red peppers. I'm just gonna coarsely chop them up. I'm not gonna chop my basil just yet. I wanna do that right before I use it so that it doesn't start to turn black around the edges. Now I'm gonna chop four cloves of fresh garlic. And now we can take a look at our chicken and see how it's doing. So we're gonna flip our chicken over. You can see we've got some nice, beautiful brown color to it. Just gonna make a little bit of an opening in the middle to give me some room to put in my other ingredients. I'm gonna turn my heat down to medium, and I'm gonna add in my low-fat cream of chicken soup. I'm gonna add in my apple juice. You could certainly substitute some white wine for the apple juice if you like. My garlic. About two tablespoons of ketchup. Don't worry about measuring it perfectly. And a few twists of fresh ground black pepper and my roasted red peppers. We're gonna stir everything up and we're gonna cover it and let it simmer for about 20 minutes. To finish the dish, we're gonna need a little bit of mozzarella cheese. Right before the chicken's cooked, we can chop our fresh basil. Again, I can't stress enough how important it is not to do that too far in advance so that your basil looks nice and fresh and doesn't start turning black around the edges. We're gonna go over and take a look at the chicken. You can see it's simmered nicely. You can use your meat thermometer at this point to check to make sure it's fully cooked. And what we're gonna do is we're just gonna sprinkle in our fresh basil. So I'm gonna add a chicken breast to the plate and then I'm just gonna spoon a nice amount of the sauce on top, making sure to get some basil, some red pepper, a little bit of mozzarella cheese on top and we're ready to enjoy. Visit us at cookwithcampbells.ca where you can read this full recipe and many more. And while you're there, click on the comment button and let us know what you think.